Hello and welcome on our booth here on the Anugard 2022. My name is Joachim Ott from Vipotech, Department of Product Inspection, and what I would like to show you now in the next round about 10 minutes, together with my colleague, some of the nice yeah, new things we can present you here. So, in another video from my colleagues, we learned about check weighing and we are learning about foreign body inspection with metal detectors. And we learn about metal detectors might not be a sufficient solution when you have a metalized package, like cookies here, yeah, with aluminum film. And of course, a metal detector is limited to the detection of metal. But what about other things like glass, like ceramics and stones? Yeah? This is a, still a high-risk contamination in the food industry. And I would like to present you now, let's say, the entry level system to find foreign body uh, to find foreign bodies in your food factory in the finalized package in the final package especially when it has a metalized film so here in front of me this is the entry level x-ray scanner SC fourth SCE 4000 yeah it means 4000 means for us a 400 millimeter wide conveyor so it's a quite big entry level solution and um, yeah Let's just grab this pack of um, pralins here, yeah, which you can get here. If you come here, you get a nice pack of pralins. And if we want to check for foreign bodies, this is the right solution because in there, as I said, there's metalized film. But also we can count how many pralins are in there. Yeah, so in this case, two, four, six, eight, nine pralins are in there. I guess it should be 10 or so. So we check if it's okay or not. Yeah. Um, of course, many people think, yeah, how fast you can go with X-ray. You can go really fast, trust us. We, we have machines that run over 1,000 products per minute. Um, yeah, how does it work in general? So the products are coming here. This is put in your production line, going through the scanner. You have here the X-ray tube. This is the source. And down here, you have a detector. And this detector captures the light that comes from the source minus this absorbed radiation from the product or the potential contamination. And then you have a pusher rejector or another kind of rejector. We are very flexible in what kind of rejection we can build to reject it out. Of course, if required, our machines fulfill the stricted supermarket standards. For example, with additional counter check sensors, with fill level control sensors and so on. Very nice thing on our machines is always that we use high quality components. Means it starts from the, from, the, um, from the light bulbs up to the electronics, the safety PLCs. This is all high reputation brand um, parts that you get normally all over the world. Yeah? For example, the easiest thing where you can see that is when you look on the, um, on the air supply unit. These are all parts that you get all over the world and as let's say high quality branded things. So as I said, this is a 400 millimeter wide machine. It's an entry level solution. Nevertheless, it has the full detection capabilities and um, it's the 400 millimeter wide solution. We can also have this as a 300 millimeter wide machine. But I don't think if you have products like this, that you really need to go with such a big machine. Or especially if you have small chocolate bars, cereal bars. And it's always better to scan them in single pack instead of bigger packages. And therefore we have also something else. And therefore I would like to hand over to my colleague Jacob. So this is my colleague Jacob and he will explain you now how to search for foreign bodies in packages like this and this. So here we are. Thank you, Joachim. Certainly for these candy bars, like these chocolate bars, we can use smaller machines, so you can easily integrate them in your existing lines with the shortest machine available right now with 700 millimeters with a, with a recheck. So just let me introduce you the SC2000 as we have it here. If you take a look at the machine, it's based on the SC series. We have an in-feed situation, which is very short, but it can be modified just for your wishes also. 
regarding the in and the out feed situation. We use all the algorithms of the SC series for contamination detection as it is with all our machines. If you take a look on this machine, it has a central motor. So we mounted the motor away from the conveyor top so to get the heat off from the conveyor belt. That's perfect for every application where we maybe use chocolate, which can be melting on the conveyor. As it is the shortest machine in the market, it's also highly modular at the same time and can be modified regarding the length. We can take off, as per example, the outfit housing. You can see here that we use some Lycra glass uh, just for better product handling for rejection. And we can remove, for example, the contamination box. You can also get it without one or we are adjustable in the length of the machine. And then you can see the length of the conveyor belt can be adjusted in 100 millimeter steps regarding the in and the out feed situation. We also have the complete portfolio of rejection devices available, such as with all our machines. We can use a pneumatic system or we can use a pusher maybe. And as, as with all our machines, it's completely maintainable without any tools, such as if you want to have a conveyor belt change, you can just put it aside, put it back on, and you're ready to produce again. It's completely operable from the front, and with the frame, it's all laser cut, and as you can see, very tough uh, to meet any expectations of you as a customer. We don't have an active cooling system here, so it's just the cooling right here. You don't have to have any additional cooling or like, like a water cooling system. Again, at the same time, just let me show you. We can have the cabinet put aside from the machine. That way, if you're restricted in space regarding the width of the machine, you're just standing here like this and you can put this aside up to five meters. At the same time, all the different units can be supplied such as we wish. We also have some systems in the field with separated uh, monitor. You can put that aside also if you want. We have combined systems such as with all our machines where you can maybe have a weighing kit in the front or if you think about vision, that's also a possibility. And as you can see, all the algorithms of the machine are also the same as with all our machines. It's using the same uh, UXS. Now, as with all our machines, also from the SC series, we can adjust all the different radiation protection measurements. So as we can say here, we have those radiation protection curtains, or you may use radiation protection covers if you use light products then you can have them running through the machine without causing any problems of rolling around or getting stuck. That's also a big advantage for your uh, light portfolio, maybe product portfolio, which you run. Now, as we have seen two machines for end of line, you might ask, what can I do in front of the line uh, to get some uh, contamination out of your bulk products, which I might get into your production. So let's see a machine like for that. Now let's take a look on the bulk flow machine. As we can see on the in-feed side, we have different options available suitable for your in-feed. We also use some kind of flaps in the inside just to distribute the uh, bulk product uh, evenly on the conveyor belt. Let me just open up the machine. The nice thing about this machine, as you can see, we don't, we don't have any second conveyor belt. We just use this one single conveyor belt without any steps uh, for the product in between. It's a completely flat conveyor belt with adjustable side rails suitable for each of your products. We also have a fully customizable outfit situation. We can change the door 
in regards of your product. As we can see here, we have fully adjustable air nozzles which can operate separately from each other, reducing your uh, rejection of products, of good products into the bad channel. Here with these systems, we use the gravity, they fall down into the good channel. Or if they want to get rejected, just one single air nozzle just blows on top of the product, so it falls down in the bed channel, which is also lockable in the end. What is also very interesting for this machine and a unique solution is the types of measurements we did uh, for you to guarantee your qualification in-house. As you can see, we can close down the good channel and by that you can run manual tests with contamination inside of your product which cannot end in your good channel in the production site. You don't have to adjust the infeed situation for that for sure. You can just open up this lockable flap and put a contamination inside of your product flow during production. I think this. I hope this gives you an idea for how you can do um, product inspection for your bulk production. Thank you.